Your body requires energy to do all sorts of different things, such as muscle contractions, transmitting nerve impulses, growth, protein synthesis, active transport, maintaining a constant body temperature. And all of this is required in the form of a chemical called adenosine triphosphate, also known as ATP. This is provided by a process called respiration, and this happens inside of animal cells as well as plant cells in little organelles called the mitochondria. Glucose is provided by your food and oxygen is provided through breathing, and a whole series of complex chemical reactions take place, but the result is carbon dioxide and water are produced. In that process, energy is released. The word equation for this is dead simple. You just plug in those things that we've mentioned going into and out of the cell. Glucose plus oxygen goes to carbon dioxide and water. And this process is specifically known as aerobic respiration. Now, sometimes under some circumstances, this oxygen is not available in as ready supply as your cells need it. For example, imagine you're doing a sprint and your breathing rate will increase, so you'll be taking deeper breaths, but you're still not going to get as much oxygen as you necessarily need. If that oxygen is not there, these products are not going to be released. This process of aerobic respiration is not going to progress. The alternative is that in the absence of oxygen, glucose will be converted to lactic acid, and in the process, it will release a very small amount of energy. The word equation for this is, again, very simple. Glucose goes to lactic acid, and this process is known as anaerobic respiration. One problem associated with anaerobic respiration is something called oxygen debt. The lactic acid that's been produced is toxic and it must be broken down. This breakdown of lactic acid requires oxygen. And so, after you've done some exercise, you're going to have to repay that oxygen by breathing more deeply. So, you'll take deeper breaths even after you've finished this exercise. Let's look at the two compared side by side. We can obviously see that anaerobic respiration has the advantage that where aerobic respiration needs oxygen, anaerobic respiration can progress in its absence. But the trade-off is there's a very small release of energy by comparison. And while the products of aerobic respiration are easily released, for example, carbon dioxide is easily removed via the lungs, oxygen debt is required to break down lactic acid. Let's think about how you could get assessed on this in an exam. What is the word equation for aerobic respiration in plants? Now, this is a bit of a sneaky question because you might end up mixing up aerobic respiration and photosynthesis because it's specified plants. But what you need to realize is that aerobic respiration in plants is exactly the same as it is in animals. And so the answer is A. Glucose plus oxygen goes to carbon dioxide and water.